Our first guest today uh, is most recognized from True Blood. She was on last season. She's a beautiful model. And on top of that, she has mastered the art of the three-part name. You got to have one of those if you want to get famous. NPH forever. Please bring her out, Jamie Gray Heider. Hello. How's it going? How's it Good. going? Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, take a seat. Now, as excited as I am to talk about True Blood, before we get there, mm -hmm. I heard that you recently went to San Francisco for a bluegrass festival. Yeah, they How in the world did you get into bluegrass? Um, I like most music, but they were having a huge bluegrass festival while I was there up in Golden Gate Park, so they just had multiple stages going on. Everybody's outside hanging out. It's free. BYOB. It was a, it was a My you style. know, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> a lot of fun. Awesome. Okay, and now I have to ask, the holidays are coming up. Okay, you are not from Los Angeles. I'm not. Okay, where are you from? D.C. D.C., okay, you're from the D.C. area. You're going back for the holidays yep. for the annual Hyder turkey tradition yep. extravaganza. <laughs> I don't know what the name Christmas. of it is, but please explain <laughs> to me. I've heard brief things about it. Um, every year our family does something we call Hyder Family Christmas Turkey Fry, and okay. we basically have probably over 150 people come in and out of our house on Christmas Day. These within... are just your brothers and sisters? Yep, that's it. Okay. Just, you know, big family. Um, we have tons of <laughs> um, we have tons of people come in and out, and every family brings their turkey for their Christmas meal, raw right. turkey, and we drop it in our deep fryer, and we fry up turkeys for everybody in the neighborhood. And every time a turkey comes out of the fryer, everybody outside has to do a shot of wild turkey. So oh, nice. I only drink wild turkey one day a year. I drink a lot of it on that day. <laughs> so Michelle Obama is just like picketing your Christmas party <laughs> just for anti-health, just horrible. Well, that's why you do it one day a year. One day a year, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, now let's get to True Blood. I want to talk to you about this. You were a new character in the mm -hmm. most recent season of True Blood. Mm -hmm. uh, for people who haven't seen the show or don't know your character very well, mm -hmm. what did your character add to, to the storyline of the show? Well, I'm one of the new werewolves. My character, Danielle, comes in at a time when um, our old pack leader at the end of season four has just been killed, and now they have to decide who the new pack leader is going to be. So she, along with all the other werewolves on the show, are trying to pick a side as to which of two different pack leaders they're going to side with. Yeah. So my character picks, um, she sides with JD, who's uh, vying for pack leader, and she makes a lot of controversial decisions. My character, yeah. you know, Danielle takes V as an in an effort to get strong so that there is a big battle going down, you know, she can make sure that she's on the winning side. Yeah. So she was just, you know, a part of all the werewolves just trying to decide who was going to be the new leader. Yeah, and what was it like coming into a, such an established cast was an intimidating. Oh my to, God, to on, it was scary as shit. <laughs> yeah. I went in for um, the table read for the first episode and I walk in the room and it's just the entire cast sitting around a table. Yeah. And I remember just feeling like the new kid at school. But as yeah. soon as I walked in, everybody, you know, whether they're a big star or they're a writer or whatever they are on the show, they just came up, oh, you're the new werewolf, Jamie. It's so nice to meet you. And yeah. showed me around when I was on set. Everybody was so helpful, telling me where things were, how things work. And everyone's just happy to be on the show. So it's kind of like once you've been included, you know, yeah. you're part of a, a special team at that point. So everybody's just really welcoming and really cool. Awesome. Most important question truly is, could you guys beat the shit out of those emo kids on Twilight? Absolutely. Thank God. I can't, <laughs> the hell out of them. I can't stand them. And True Blood is one of the only uh, of the vampire series, I think, that a, a girl can watch it with her boyfriend and they're both... Exactly. Equally there is a entertained. Lot of female nudity. There's a lot of nudity in the show and action and <laughs> violence, all that good stuff. Yeah, of course. <laughs> all right. So, aside from acting, step away from acting for a second. You work at Record Planet Recording Studios. Yeah. Okay. Now, you work with a bunch of different artists. What's it like dipping into both sides, the music industry and acting? Well, I've, I grew up, I'm a classically trained vocalist, so I grew up in okay. music. And when I was moving out to L.A., I knew I would need a you know, survival job while I was getting right. myself established. That's what I'm so doing right now. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. I'm not too far off. Um, so I found a job at a recording studio, which turned out to be Record Plant, which is one of the top studios in the entire world. So it's amazing how much our paths cross as far as my acting stuff and my music stuff. And I'm there working with amazing artists, you know, and yeah. everybody, like I said, from... Elton John, Lady Gaga, wow. I've seen, met Lionel Richie and Quincy Jones, wow. and we have Chris Brown and Black Eyed Peas, and like, well, you know, we have only huge clients, so it's been a really neat thing for me to not have to work in a restaurant. You're so much cooler. Than that. <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been great talking to you, but there is something very important that we have to get to today. Oh, yeah. Because you today 
Jamie Gray Hyder are competing in the most important game that anybody could possibly compete in. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Cocked Out. <laughs> are you ready for this? I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Ready. Here are the rules for Cocked Out. You've got your three guns to choose from. Mm -hmm. You have got your target over there. All the different holes have the different numbers for how many points you get for shooting it through the, you get the idea. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the guns. This is Little Boy Blue. Cock it back and forth, all kinds of fun. This right here is Green Thunder. All right, shoot discs, a little different than the darts. You might want to give it a try. And finally, we have this one that I haven't named yet. So it's the yellow gun. <laughs> Now, you have 30 seconds to score as many points as humanly possible. Okay. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. All right. Choose your first gun. Which one do you want to go through first? I'm going to go with the big gun. All right. It's already cocked. It should be ready to go. So your first shot is all loaded up for you. All I'm right. going to get behind you because I don't <laughs> trust you at all. Uh, you can step up a little like bit mad, closer. I'm just going to throw Step the up to the line right there, right there, right there. All right. Are you ready? Is everybody ready for this? Yeah. We're going to give you a countdown, a three, right. a three count. All right. Are we ready for this? Everybody, everybody? <laughs> three, two, one. Go! Oh, here we go, here we go. Gotta keep cocking it, keep cocking it. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Ah, oh, so close, you're almost there. Ah, oh, come on. We're supposed to be good at this. You were talking smack backstage. Come on. Oh, we got a 10! Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. Oh, keep going, keep going. Oh, we have 15 now. Ah, oh, 20! Oh my god. Oh, Three! Two, one more. Good. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Big round of applause. You got 20 yeah. points. All right, all right. One last time. You get oh, to shoot this baby, right. okay? This is Grasshopper. All right, here, give me the big gun. You don't get that one anymore. Ready? I'm going to cock it for you. You get one shot. Right. Wherever you want to go. You want to tack on five points? <clears throat> going go for the you. balls. You want to go for the balls? It's my kind of girl. All right, all right. <laughs> that was bad. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> All right, don't file any seats or anything. Oh, oh so, so close, close, so close. Oh. All right, everybody, big round of applause. She got 20 points, she got 20 points. Thank you so much, congratulations, course, congratulations. We will be right back with pop star Pip, but before we do that, we've got a brand new PSA with Randy.